Good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous class, we have discussed about the structure of interior of earth. We have discussed about the mantle, the core and the crust. We have also discussed about the what? Sia, Sima, Nife and the crustal movement. Student, today we are going to discuss about the rock as building block. As we know that whatever the soil we have seen over the earth's surface, it is formed due to the weathering of the rock. And if whatever the minerals are found over the earth's surface also, it is out of the rocks. But rarely we see the rock over the earth's surface. Either it covered by the soil layers or it covered by the vegetation. Student, these rocks are vary from each other. They are vary by their hardness, by their softness, by their texture, color and their composition. Many, many rocks are containing many type of minerals. They can be of thousand or hundred type of minerals in a rock. But normally on the earth surface, the most abundantly found mineral in the rock is the silica and aluminum. So student, let's discuss about what are the different type of rocks we have. Normally we have three types of rock. That is the igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. Let's discuss about igneous rock. Igneous rock Okay, igneous rock is formed due to the cooling down of the magma or lava. Igneous is a word derived from the Latin word ignis which means fire. That means the hot and molten lava. When it cooled down, it formed the igneous rock. Student, igneous rock, some of the Igneous rocks are vary from each other. Normally, we have two type of igneous rock, extrusive igneous rock and intrusive igneous rock. So, let's discuss about extrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rock, when the lava uh, comes out from the interior of the earth and deposited over the earth surface and cool down, it form the extrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rock is also known as lava rock. Extrusive igneous rock, as it is cool down over the earth surface, the cooling down process of the lava is faster and due to that it what form lots of oxides and small crystals and contain very less amount or less amount of silica within it and due to that it is dense in nature. Some of the example of extrusive igneous rock is the basalt. Student, let's discuss about the intrusive igneous rock. As the name suggests, when the molten magma, when the molten magma cool down below the earth surface, okay, below the earth surface, that is called intrusive igneous rock. Due to the cooling down of magma below the earth surface and formation, whatever the rocks are formed, these are called intrusive igneous rock. Intrusive igneous rocks, as they, their cooling process is slow because it is inside the earth surface, so the cooling process is slow and due to that it form okay, large crystals okay, and another thing that it contain lots of aluminum, it contain quartz, okay, feldspar, this type of things within it and most importantly it have very less amount of oxide because it do not come directly contact with the atmosphere. Due to that these rocks are not dense in nature. Okay and these rocks, these rocks example one of the such rock is the what granite. 
granite is one of the example of intrusive igneous rock so student another point about extrusive igneous rock is that the black soil is formed due to the weathering of extrusive igneous rock and intrusive igneous rock as you know that granite is one of the example of what Ex intrusive igneous rock so student next we are going to discuss about sedimentary rock let's discuss about the sedimentary rock as you know that sedimentary rock is one of the important rock sedimentary the word is derived from the latin word sedimentantum which means settle down so sedimentary means settle down sedimentary rocks are formed due to the settle down of the weather material carried by the agent of erosion the agent of erosion like weathering and erosion like river wind glacier rainfall all these agents of erosion weathering carry the weather material and what settle the weather material by forming layers because the set and due to formation of layer okay one layer two layer three layers many layers are formed and due to that the pressure and temperature increases and due to increase of pressure and temperature this form a kind of rock and this is called sedimentary rock as the sedimentary rocks are formed in different layers that's why it is also called stratified layer or stratified rock sometimes the sedimentary rocks contain organic material within it sometimes the sedimentary rocks contain plant remains animal remains within it and when this organic material or remains are present within the sedimentary rock due to high pressure and temperature this carbon content within the what organic material they converted into many fossils and one of example is coal and petroleum so student when any living organism which contain carbon within it get what stratified or within the sedimentary rock then due to pressure and temperature it converted into fossils another thing about the sedimentary rock is that sedimentary rocks are what they are softer in compare to igneous rock next is let's discuss about the formation of different type of sedimentary rock some of the example of sedimentary rock like sandstone okay limestone okay these are the some example so how the sandstone is formed when the grain of sands okay they compressed or due to layers they come under the compression they form the sandstone when the organic content okay the cells the skeletons of dead and decayed animal in the ocean bed they what they forms they occur sedimentation they converted into limestone so limestone is having a living origin not only that variety kind of salts are also formed due to the sedimentation example the rock salt the sea salt the nitrate the dolomite and gypsum these are the some examples are formed due to the sedimentation due to what crystallization process or due to evaporation crystals are formed and by forming layers and this form gypsum dolomite rock salt these are formed due to this process so student this is all about sedimentary rock next we are going to discuss about what metamorphic rock student here we can see the process of sedimentation what now 
how the sedimentary rocks are formed how the rocks get weather and after that what now the weather material deposited in layers and after that what happened now how due to pressure and compression and temperature how these sediment sediments are converted into sediment layers then after sedimentary rocks so let's discuss about the metamorphic rock so next we are going to discuss about metamorphic rock let's discuss about how the metamorphic rocks are formed student metamorphic the word is derived from the greek word metamorphose metamorphose okay it is this type of rocks mostly form due to intense heat and pressure on different type of rocks for example when we apply or when due to high pressure and temperature the sedimentary rocks are also converted into metamorphic as well as the igneous rocks are also converted into metamorphic rock let's discuss about some of the example when we apply or when high pressure or temperature is applied over the limestone it converted into marble and when high pressure and temperature is applied over the granite it converted into gneiss so some of the these are the some example another examples of like slate okay now when more temperature and pressure is applied over the what na slate or clay it converted in sorry uh, clay it converted into slate so student normally these metamorphic rocks are formed due to further pressure and temperature over the igneous and sedimentary rock the metamorphic rock are normally very strong okay they are very strong in nature so student next we are going to discuss about the rock cycle to now we are going to discuss about rock cycle rock cycle so how the rock get converted from one to another let's discuss about it then we'll discuss about what is the process behind it student do you know that that whatever the rocks we have seen over the earth surface they are converting from one to another so let's discuss about how student mostly all the rocks which are from form is from the magma the primary rock as you know that the igneous rock so let's discuss about the cycle of it initially the primary rock okay which is coming from the magma of the earth and this when the magma cool down it form the igneous rock and the igneous rock get weathered eroded and converted into small 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 particles and these particles okay they get eroded by the agent of erosion here you can see the agent of erosion and this agent of erosion carry the weather material of the igneous as well as metamorphic rock and all these weather material get deposited by forming layers and beds and these layers and beds due to pressure and temperature converted into sedimentary rocks and these sedimentary rocks due to further temperature and pressure converted into metamorphic rock as well as from igneous rock also due to increase in temperature and pressure the igneous rock also converted into what na metamorphic rock and due to further temperature and pressure over the metamorphic rock again it converted into magma again the magma come out and form the igneous rock and again it weathered and eroded and form the sedimentary rock so student this is a cyclic process in which magma form igneous 
weather and erosion of magma occurs from sedimentary rock and sedimentary rock what now get more heat and pressure it converted into metamorphic and igneous rock also get more pressure and heat and converted into what metamorphic and due to further temperature and pressure over the metamorphic rock it converted into magma so all these process is come under the rock cycle here is the diagram you can see how the process is going on as it is a cyclic process and it is going on in a continuous manner so we can say that it is a rock cycle okay student next we are going to discuss about the importance of rock student these rocks have lot of importance in our day to day life first of all from rocks we the soil is formed when the rock get weathered and get eroded by the agents of weathering and erosion the rocks converted into soil next the most important thing is that we get variety kind of minerals from the rocks we get copper iron bauxite manganese many type of metallic and non metallic minerals are found in the rocks next rocks are used for construction work we are using the rocks for making different type of construction like road railway bridge and many more another thing is that we get various kind of precious stone okay and gems from the rock rock also contain different type of fossils fossils like petroleum coal many other fossils are also available in the rock so these are the some importance of the rock student this portion is completed next we are going to discuss about the next chapter thank you for watching my youtube videos please like share and subscribe my channel thank you